Okay, 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 okay. Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here. Hope you're doing well. And it is time for another edition of Reviewing Your Music, where I go on social media, I ask you to submit to me your music, assuming that you are an independent artist who watches my channel. And I just kind of uh, randomly scroll through the submissions, the many, 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 many submissions that you guys post up here. And I uh, kind of peruse. I try out what's thrown in front of me and I talk about whether or not I, I like it or not so much. Uh, listen, the point of this segment is to give a little shine, give a little exposure, give some people, I suppose, a chance that they wouldn't have had otherwise. The point of this is not to bully anyone or shit on anybody's music uh, who wasn't anticipating like a negative review or uh, a take from me that uh, uh, says their music isn't the greatest or the best or anything like that. So, uh, you know, we're all adults here. We're all submitting our music voluntarily. And uh, I'm, I'm just here to give some thoughts, give some takes. So let's scroll down, try out some of these tracks and see what uh, talent y'all are serving up. Uh, but bam, b before I even get into a song, you're hitting me with visual talent over here. Look at this cute, heartwarming illustration. Uh, but, uh, uh, oh, we, we also have from the same person uh, a song, uh, Washed Away. I suppose uh, <laughs> we'll give it a try since this stopped me in my tracks. Anyway, uh, Mellow's Art Shack posting up this track, Washed Away. Uh, okay, let's hear it. Look, there, there are some aspects of the track that I think are pretty good. The uh, the recording and the mix on the bass is great. The drums sound crisp and uh, punchy as hell. Guitars don't sound too bad either. Uh, I'll, I'll just say I'm not typically a fan of this kind of shimmy, beachy, garage punk music. And then the reggae style transition that was being attempted in the second half of the track over here was not was not going well at all and sounded uh, very, very, very messy. Uh, that needs a redo. Everything up until that point sounded solid, uh, even if I'm not super crazy about uh, the particular style. You know, again, not my vibe, but uh, sounded pretty good. Sounded well performed, put together. The the reggae switch uh, that that needs a tune up. Okay, uh, let's give this one a try. Consume Spirit by Grave Titan, submitted by Alex in Chains from the album demo 2019. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a shot. Looks metal as fuck. Yeah. Oh, that's gruesome. That's a gruesome one. Okay, let's hear it. Nice. Nice finishing riff. Um, a mix of grind in there, some death metal in there, some power violence in there. Sounded badass as fuck. Heavy and thick too. Uh, wouldn't necessarily attribute this kind of, uh, I, I guess, a, a genuine heaviness to just a demo because, I mean, for a demo, it's, it's pretty nice. You know, that they're... Uh, <laughs> commercial albums in this genre that sound a lot shittier than this. So uh, uh, this is the demo. Hey, let's let's hear the album. Uh, this is pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Oh, we're going. We're still on going. Okay, refrac, R E F R A Q, refrac ruck, R U K is the name of the track. Let's go. Let's go. Refrac music. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's try it. Let's see what we have going on here. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right there. Not because it's bad, uh, but because it's it's actually it's actually really good. Um, this is a very groovy and um, a very futuristic piece of house. I mean, I, I see through the labeling here in the video. It's it's a. Uh, uh, uploaded to the, the UKF YouTube channel. I'm not sure if uh, this artist is on the label, most likely. Um, although they're not verified, I've never heard of them before. Uh, I mean, UKF is no label to uh, uh, to scoff at or anything, but uh, uh, surprised that something this good on the label is not uh, 
uh, getting more attention generally online. This video just has 21,000 views on it. came out last year, toward the end of last year. Um, this is beautiful. This is pretty. And the groove is... Um, kind of unlikely. You know, it's it's very straightforward. It's a lot of, you know, quarter note kicks to the floor. It's got that kind of driving house feel to it. Uh, but there is something that's a little futuristic, alien, and um, pristine about it that I like quite a bit. Um, and in the way that uh, it sort of thumps off of, uh, uh, I guess you could say what, what would, would effectively be a snare, like doing the way the kicks kind of bounce off. Um, of, uh, you know, the other bits of percussion in the groove, I think is really interesting. Um, yeah, nicely shaped track and uh, beautifully engineered too, because at this point in the track in the second half, uh, when those lush tones really start layering on and just getting soaked up in reverb, uh, it's very beautiful. It's very nice. Like that. Hell fucking yes. Let's keep going. Let's keep the talent moving. I'm not going to review this one, but this dude over here, Silk Toad, I just tried this person's track randomly. I think the day or the day after I posted this, and uh, I'm going to link this down below with every other song that we talk about in this segment. This track is really good. It is weird. It is funny. It's a little tongue in cheek. It's playful, but it is, it is entertaining as hell. And um, yeah, it's it's a, a nice little weird lo-fi-ish singer-songwriter track that reminds me a little bit of Ariel Pink. I, I like it a lot. Okay, it looks like this man is rapping about eating veggies in the grocery store. Why not? Let's give it a try. <laughs> I I guess I'll make sure to get deeper into that one later, but I, I will say that um the it's it seems like it's got a bit of a jazz rap vibe to it. Uh, recording is okay. Uh but but the hook is there. Hook is there. I eat healthy, bro. Make sure to eat my vegetables. Grow Up Bummy, Melon, Once Upon a Time by Grow Up Bummy. All right, let's give it a try. Let's give it a shot. Although this, this Apple Music link, I'm gonna have to go into Apple Music to hear it. Breaking bread like a Jesus. All of you about to your knees. I'm about to send you like Alicia. I'm about to go nuts like a Reese's. Cooling these rappers with Jesus. Okay, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad for a super grimy trap cut. Um, I will say the vocals aren't super strong on the song. Like they could either be mixed a bit higher or maybe overdubbed at some points. They're just not all that beefy. Um, and, and they do sound like they're not as crisp in the mix as they, as they could be. Uh, wasn't as compelled by the first rapper on the track as I was the second. And the second's flow, for whatever reason, sounded a lot like LP. Uh, the tone of his voice and everything, although I, I'll say lyrically, it's not like he's on LP's level or anything, but um, man, if, if there's anything that really kind of won me over on this track, though, it's the bass. The bass is actually incredible. <laughs> it's really deep, thick, resonant bass. And uh, I, I don't know, I, th I thought the kind of creepy horror movie synth uh, leads playing throughout a few points of the, the instrumental were kind of cool too. Uh, not blowing me away. It's kind of rough around the edges, especially that first rapper who uh, whose flows I think could have used uh, some improvement. But hey, you know, it's it's, it's okay. It's all right. Uh, okay, let's see what's going on here. Nina. Shorty was all up on me. Niggas want to feature. Better pay a fee. <laughs> <laughs> this is this this sounds really awkward and uh uh the, the vocals are a bit loud in comparison with the instrumental i i guess i'll give it a, a little bit more of a try a small little tiny bit more of a try you can pay for doing what you so fuck that and all that shit get in the young boss i'll be calling the shots now run up. yeah we're, we're just gonna have to move on past this one but you know um everything's a work in progress could be a work in progress i suppose blood money by jay adams a song about a zombie slayer inside of a strip club okay so sounds good to me let's give that a 
let's give that a try then. About to hit the strip club and show these half dead women some love. They half naked, moaning with our sex, and I can see the muscle inside the thigh. Uh, this track is smooth and sensual as fuck, and uh, just as our friend Jay says uh, in the description, it is literally uh, a rap song that's uh, about zombie strippers. Um, pre pretty detailed as well. Uh, you know, with the seeing the muscle when uh, she flexes the leg, um, it, it's it's odd. But hey, he really kind of goes all out with it and uh, uh, really kind of puts you there. You know, puts you there in that mindset and that scenario where he's uh, <laughs> kind of telling the story about zombie strippers. Hey, all right, let me give one more track here a try. One more track a try. Let me give one more track a try. Hey, Tony, listen to Bexley Moms. We're like if Brian Wilson was in 100 Gex. Okay, I'm down with that description. <laughs> Okay, I mean, honestly, I, I feel kind of lied to <laughs> because this doesn't sound anything like 100 Gex. I mean, maybe some of their other tracks do, but this just kind of sounds like some lo-fi, scuzzy beach rock, uh, truly and honestly. And that doesn't make it bad, but uh, but generally, that, that again, that's, that's just kind of a, a style and a trend that I just think is so played out at this point. I don't really get too much out of it, uh, although I will say that the roughness and the uh, the, the, the lo-fi aesthetics of this track, I, I do find to be pretty pleasurable. So, you know, at, at least it's a little nasty, at least it's got a little bit of a bite to it. And at least the lead vocals are a, a bit goofy in a way that's kind of fun. Uh, but still this, this is nothing, absolutely nothing like 100 Gex. I have, I have literally been lied to. So I think I'm going to, uh, leave it at that. Yeah. You guys are the best. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. Uh, we will link you once more to all of those songs I talked about and reacted to down in the description box. And uh, I will look forward to uh, uh, taking some of your tracks in the next time we do another reviewing your music. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, reviewing your music forever.